Section 3.3 is true tables for negation, conjunction, and disjunction. The true tables have been provided for you on page 136 and page 137. For the conjunction, you need to remember that it's only true when both are true. For the disjunction, which is the or statement, it is only false when both are false. So if you recall, you have P, you have Q, 4, P, and Q. You will have true, true, false, false. And Q, you'll have true, false, true, false. This is always true, All, always the case. So true and true, true and true is true. Everything else is false for this problem. True and false is false. False and true is false. False and false is false. Okay? Um, whereas for the or, you have P, you have Q, you have true, true, this does not change, false, false. For Q to be true, false, true, false. For P or Q, as given in your textbook, true or true is true. True or false is, fa is true. False or true is true. But false or false is false. Remember, the only time this is the case is when both components are false. All right, suppose you're asked to complete the truth table given this statement, not P and not Q. Remember what I said, P and Q are not going to change. So you're going to have true, true, false, false for P. For Q, you're going to have true, false, true, false. Notice here that we also have not P. Well, what does not P mean? Well, it means the opposite of whatever P is. Since P is true, then not P is going to be false. False, true, true. I'm looking at the P column and taking the opposite of that. If I also do the same thing for not Q, I need that. I'm looking at the Q column. Q column says true, then not true is going to be false. Not false is true. Not true is false. Not false is true. All right, then I put them together, not P and not Q. We're looking at this connective, and. Well, we know that and, according to the and truth table, conjunction truth table, is only true when both are true. Only true when both are true. So I'm looking at now not P and not Q. So I'm going to have false and false. According to the truth table for and, it's only true when both are true. So this is false. Then I have false and true, which is false. Then I have true and false, which is false. Then I have true and true. And this one is true. This time you're asked to construct a truth table. Notice that we have two different letters. So we will again have four rows. Always you're going to have a column for P. 
you'll have a column for Q. What do we say about P? Well, we said P is true, true, false, false. And we said Q is true, false, true, false. Next thing inside the parentheses, we have P or Q. Well, this is the disjunction, and we talked about this. This is the or statement. It is only false if both are false. So we're going to look at the column for P and the column for Q. So true or true is going to be true because we said it's only false if both are false. True or false is true. False or true is true. But false or false is false. It's only false if both are false for the or. All right, then we need to create a not P column. Well, we know the negation means to take the opposite. So let's look at the P column. If you look at the P column, you'll see you have true for P. If we do not P, then that's going to be false, right? Not true is false. Not false is true. Not false is true. Now we're ready to put it all together. P or Q and not P. All right, so the two columns that, columns that we're going to focus on are P or Q and not P. So our connective that we're really focusing on here is the and. Well, what do we know about and? We know that it is only true if both are true. All right, so true and false is false. True and false is false. True and true is true. False and true is false. And that is our truth table.